Hi there, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. I'm Baron, and we should go into Very the well. temple of Rillyfane here. Okay, so there are monsters. Lots of monsters, actually. So we kill the sun here first. What audacity here with Jablobi, you continue to surprise me, but it ends here. Renegus must not be disturbed during his ritual. What ritual? What is he planning now? What does it matter here with Jablobi? You will soon be dead. No, you are dead actually. And now we kill the Rakshasa. You move away. Done. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo Hides. and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. And Rejoice! Darren Golan. My weapon does nothing. To Go battle for the eyes, and victory. Go for the eyes. Yes! And now you kill Fall, him. Creature too. and feed the earth. Okay, so we won, and we. There was actually it was not needed to do that. But As you ask. If you just place the items on the avatar here, uh, on the altar, you summon the avatar. That would be the moonblade. That would be the cup. And the amulet. All will be done. It can be done. And we got uh, 65,000 quest experience for everybody. No more shall the temple be defiled. The avatar of the great oak stands before you, mortals. What transpires here that requires the attention of the leaf lord? The sorcerer Johnny Renikus has... Ah, the exile has returned. He who once was of the elves, but is no longer survives yet. Once again he commits his sacrilege against the tree of life. The exile protects himself with power that corrupts nature. I cannot touch him. He holds she who is of my blood imprisoned within corruption. He uses her link to the tree of life to drain its power. Why? What's he going to... The exile seeks to join the Zeldarine. The exile seeks to become a god as he sought once before. He... he actually seeks to join the Zeldarine? The elven circle of the divine? But... Corlan Latharian would never allow it. He is mad. The first of the Zeldarine would never permit it. The tree of life must not perish or our children will suffer. The spirits of this wood will be called to defeat the evil that the exile has brought into our midst. Rise, spirits, it is I, really fain Relathil of the Seldarine, who calls you. Defend our children this day. And you, mortal, you seek to defeat the exile. Free she who is of my blood from his corruption, and she will sever the link he uses. But the Renicus has sealed. The exile blocks your way, sealing the gates to the great palace. I shall unseal them. It is done. I can do no more. Fine. Go. Wait. Um. Hey, I thought I slew all the demons. Uh, apparently I worked one. But it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. What did you we get? You and Boo and I. Stuff of the woodlands and plus rangers four. everywhere. Rejoice! <laughs> and any loot just to be had here? It shall be. So, uh, there's still a troll somewhere. What did we get XP wise? We got yeah the quest experience, Glabritsu. Did get nothing for the didn't get anything for the Glabritsu, okay. 
13,000 for the iron golem. Three thousand for the Rakshasa. Gotta be kidding me, that's nothing. And uh, sixteen thousand for that, that guy here, a Sanir. Okay. And that's it, actually. Nothing else Consider to do. Consider it done. Yeah. Let's leave then. No, everybody, please. Out. Where huh? is that troll? You have my greetings, faithful one. Bless you, stranger. The Avatar has released the guardian spirits. The city is saved and the palace open for you. Go and help our queen. The exile holds her within. If you need healing or supplies, I shall be happy to help you. Rilifane has blessed you, and what services our temples offer are yours for a pittance. The soldiers have even offered some of their weapons and supplies. Okay, I would like to see what you have to offer. Can I sell a few things to you? First of all, take a look at that. Quarter stuff plus one, nobody really needs that. And yeah, stuff of the woodlands plus four, it can only be used by druids. That would be Jahira. She could use it, but she already has a plus four weapon, so we don't really need it. But it's the best weapon for a druid, I guess. So we still have the stone harp and the stone horn. And I wanted to sell you some things. I'm not selling the gauntlets of ogre powder. Hey, I misclicked. What does that do? Hide in shadows. Ah, nobody needs that. Or do we? What do, what do you have cloakwise? Oh well. She's not hiding in shadows anyway. And that's it. Sell it. Close container. What do you have for me to buy? Oh, potions of extra healing. I want. Yeah, spells. Hm. Do we need them, I wonder? Anything we don't have yet? No, I don't think so. We all have all that. Okay, done. You put your stuff in here. And I think now it's time to return to the palace. Uh, wait, Haywood sees a monster? An enemy? Where? There. A lesser air. Where did that come from? So I guess we walk that way.
And I have the spirit. Okay. That's a good thing. Oh, hi, where do you come from? What was that? A sand golem. An elven spirit disintegrated it. Uh, maybe not. Minsk killed it. Hey, did I overlook something here? Yes. Rest would be welcome, lest we endanger ourselves. Apparently, we need to rest. I should have sold spells. Why do we always forget to sell spells? The spirit is willing, my friend. But this old and battered body demands rest. We must rest soon. Boo is getting squirrely. Okay, we rest. We must rest anyway. Before we do the final battle. Can we rest here? Okay. The tree shimmers slightly as you look at it. A palpable feeling of magic emanates from it. The unusually large nuts in the branches above are a tempting sight. You could pick them if you wish to. Hell yes, I wish. As soon as you touch the first nut, a shock runs through your hand and all of the nuts fall to your feet. You gather all of the nuts. There seems to be two distinctive types of them. A smaller type that does not open, no matter how hard you pry, and a I'm larger so group happy you brought me with you. that scrolls away. Imagined that we would be doing such great that opens things. to allow access to the edible nut within. The tree bears no more fruit. Okay, so we have big nuts and small nuts. That's like in real life. Some people have big nuts. No. Okay. Well, I wait your word. Where do we go from here? There's a door. Let's save. Water flows down in a rush from some unknown source. There is an odd play of shadows deep within the pool. There are chunks of broken water around the statue. It appears to have had a piece broken off. You could look more closely if you wish to. Okay. Fine, get closer. It shall be. You fit the horn to the statue's lips and it, its hand rise to steady the instrument. It blows a clear, powerful note on the horn and then falls silent. Okay. Something changed. We get 3000 experience points. Oh, twice actually. Okay. And we lost the harp and the horn. But oh, that's cool. Oh, no more water. The music of the harp and the horn have stopped the water's flow. The way to the area beneath the palace is now open to you. What is my task? You feel a tingling as you approach the stairs, a familiar touch which you instinctively recognize as your own soul, Irenicus' sneer, in the next room. You pause, knowing that you may not survive the battle to come. You have little choice, however. Without your soul, your fate is a grim and certain one. You turn and regard those who remain in your party. You feel a need, perhaps, to ascertain their loyalty, their friendship, or to offer a chance to reconsider. Imoen, your sister and steadfast friend, who has changed so much in the time you have known her. Shadows circle her eyes, but she smiles as she notices your gaze. Imoen, you have your soul back. There is no need for you to endanger yourself anymore. This is my fight now. Irenicus hurt me too, you know. He kept me at the asylum and experimented on me and took my soul like it was an appetizer. Uh-uh. 
I'm not going anywhere. I'm with you all the way. Keldon, the wise paladin and venerable member of the most noble order of the Radiant Heart. He has sworn to accompany you, but he has a family as well. Mm, Keldon, you have a wife and family who need you. You don't have to continue. This isn't your fight. The path of honor dictates that I see this through to the end, my friend, no matter what. I would not be able to lift my eyes were I to abandon you while such an evil remains unchecked. I could serve good no greater than by what I do now. Jahira, you and she have grown close and been through much. Her eyes meet yours instantly and grow pensive, sensing what you are going to ask. Jahira, I... It is not necessary to say anything, hey, which I blow me. I know what comes next. I know what may happen to either of us. We have been through too much to let that stop what you must do. For all the pain that losing Khalid brought, I would not give up our years of good works. Let us regain your soul and make you whole again. And what comes after, comes after. I look forward to it, should the gods prove willing. There's nothing more to be said. Hey, what about Imuen, uh, uh, Ari and Minsk? There's nothing more to be said. Without a further word, you turn grimly back to the stairs before you. Your soul awaits. What? I mean, okay, Minsk is something different because he doesn't really have his own quest in this game. But you hear, uh, hear um, Ari? That's weird. Anyway. Consider it done. Moving on to kicking Irenicus's ass. It's I dark. greet you in the name of Solden Esselar. You are the child of Baal, aren't you? The one that Jonathan John boasted of stealing power from? He claimed to have slain you. <coughs> Yes, but who are you? And what is Iranicus doing? I am Elysim, Queen of Saldanesala. Jonalus has me at the center of the tree, trapped in a cage of corruptive magics. This is as far as I have been able to send my image. Jonalus, the one you know as Iranicus, he is drawing power from the tree of life into himself. There are parasites attached to the tree, draining it for him. Parasites? What manner of creatures are these? I do not know what manner of parasites these things are, but they are formed from corruption itself, I fear. They feed Jonaleth the power and maintain my cage. Whether you are here to save my people or simply kill he who has tormented you, I cannot. One thing must be done. The parasites on the Tree of Life must die. Do that and I can sever John's connection to the tree. Then and only then may he be killed. I, I believe he has protected the parasites somehow. I do not know. Hurry. How do I reach the parasites? There is no root I can see amongst all these branches. Yes, he has severed branches. Use the nuts. The nuts from the palace gardens. They will grow new branches on the tree. You can use them to cross. Do it quickly, child of Baal. If John drains the tree of life, all of Saldanesola is doomed. And John will have the power he craves. Please, you must stop him. Don't worry. We will... Stuff. I will do my best. Okay. Um, it's apparently night. That's rather unpleasant. Oh, this battle is gonna take place at midnight. Ooh hoo hoo. But all his vampire friends are dead. Um, moving on. <coughs> parasites. We're gonna kill parasites. Uh, apparently, there's no parasite here. I mean, I already played that because, you know, I finished the game before I went to the Watcher's Keep. And then I skipped that because I wanted to finish Jahira's. That's the parasite, I think. Um, Romance. And I co you couldn't do that once you enter chapter. What is it? Seven? Yeah. One of the smaller nuts on your pack begins to grow and extend. Surprised, you place it on the branch at your feet. 
It grows and twists at an alarming rate, soon melting with the tree of life. The tree grows to form a a path to the far branch. You may now pass. Yay! Okay. And here we have this parasite. Okay. No, only you. Jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't be as gentle. The parasite, this thing, is not li is like nothing you have ever seen before. Four snake-like appendages protrude from its swollen body and have driven themselves through the branch of the tree. The parasite is sucking the very life out of the tree. You can attack it if you wish. Hell yes, I wish. At the first sign of hostility, the parasite swells with energy and summons guardians. Oh, come on, Earth Elementals, Fall really? I eat Earth Elementals for breakfast. <laughs> Fucker. Live by the sword. Live a good Boom, long baby. time. With its defenses down, the parasite is easily dispatched. On my honor. That's one down, yes. two more to go. Okay, we have another branch here. Um, that's a dead end. Where are we? Okay. I hope I have enough nuts. Oh, probably. Okay. There is incomplete and leads nowhere. This is leading nowhere fast. Very well. well. It's actually going nowhere fast, but you know. And here we have a Renicus. Fine, can't do anything now. He's still protected by the energy of the life of tree, of the by the life of tree, the tree of life. You know, it's the other way around. Can we go to that spot? No. Aha! Uh -huh, here we have another one. Stand back for justice. Fire elementals. Yes. Excellent. There is only one more that needs to be destroyed. Already I can see this cage beginning to fade. Only one more. Okay. Once you kill the last parasite, I will begin to sever his connection. You will need to come to the center of the tree where Rinnicus and I are quickly. Sure. The energy that he has stolen from the tree will be torn from him. I know not what effects this will have, but John will be disoriented. So you must kill him quickly. Finish it quickly! I feel the tree of life dying! John is drawing too close to his goal! Too close to his goal? Okay. So there's apparently one more. See battle bow! Prove run bow! Run! Done! The good has been upheld. There's apparently one more parasite somewhere. We will find him. Hit. Whatever. And kill it! Oh. There's no branch here, right? Oh, okay. 
So I guess we have to return to that area here. And here's the last parasite, see? Okay, that's pretty much it. So we will form up here. And deal with this parasite in the last, uh, no, in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye.